Hey, it's Jamie from The Modern Tog, and I'm here to show you how to import our free contact form into the Gravity Forms plugin for WordPress. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to themoderntog.com and download the Gravity Forms contact, um, contact form that we put out there for free, and then save it somewhere on your computer that you're, where you're going to be able to find it again, because I download stuff all the time, I don't remember where I save it, and then I have to go searching for it, and it's pretty annoying. So, save it somewhere where you'll be able to find it again. Log into your WordPress admin. You should already have Gravity Forms installed. If you don't, go back to our site and watch the video on how to install it. And you're going to want to go to the left here to Forms and go to Import Export. And then across the top, you'll see Import Forms right here. We're going to select a file, so go to wherever it is that you saved that file. Open it up. Click Import. All right. It's done. Uploaded. Easy peasy. Go to Edit Forms. You'll see the form right here. So this is just like as if you had created it yourself. You're going to want to go to edit because there's a few things you need to do before it will be fully functional. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to notifications. And I'm just going to click OK there. Go to notifications. And this is going to set up your email so it knows where to send the message when people use your contact form. So you want to go to your email at your URL.com, whatever. Replace that with your own email address, so that's what, you know, your address, your business email address. Um, the from name is going to come from the person filling out the form, as well as their email, so you don't need to worry about that. I'd leave those set the way they are. And then this is going to be your subject line. It's basically going to, all that code says is, why are they contacting you? And if there's a date associated with it, it adds the date. And then this message part says all fields, that's basically going to send you the entire contact form um, for any fields that they filled out. The ones that were left blank, they won't show. So it's not going to be big and empty if they only do a couple things. Down here you're going to see notification to user. Enable email notification to users. This is optional. So what this means is for the people who fill out your contact form, if you want to send an automatic email to them immediately, you can leave this checked. Um, and do that. If you don't care to send them an email immediately saying, hey, we're going to get back to you in 24 or 48 hours, then you can just uncheck that and you're ready to go. Otherwise, you can leave it checked. Um, you can send it to whatever email they put in the contact form. Um, you can enter your business name right here from the from, so that's when they see their email, they're going to see that it's from your business name. Um, down below, you're going to want to enter your email address again so that when they click reply, it will get sent to you. And then down here a little bit more is the subject, so you can put whatever subject you want, and then whatever message you want. I'd actually suggest, you know, formatting it, writing something a little bit more personal, adding your name, your business information, a signature, that sort of thing. And then you're just going to click Save Settings. Once you got that clicked, you are done and ready to use the form. I'm going to show it to you, and then I'll show you how to customize it a little bit because I'm sure that you may want to add some stuff or take some stuff away depending on your business model. So here's how we put it into our blog. We're going to go to Pages, Add New. Once that pops up, you can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it Contact Form. And then I look right here by the upload insert, you'll see where you usually add photos, all that at the end here is the Add Gravity Form button. So you're going to click that, you're going to select a form, which is a Modern Togs contact form. We're not going to display the form title because you don't want all your customers and clients seeing the Modern Togs contact form across the top of your contact page. So that gets rid of it. And then you can insert the form. And you're just going to get a little bit of code like that. So what you can do is go to Preview, which is over there, and it'll show you what it looks like on your website. And there it is, pretty cool. So giving you just a little bit of information here 
about the form. There's the name, the email, phone numbers, optional. I love to get people's phone numbers because it allows me to call them and get my personality in front of them right away, um, especially with wedding inquiries. Emails are pretty cold and hard to um, show your brand really strongly, and so I love to be able to call people. And the people who don't like to talk on the phone, they don't answer anyways. They just screen their call, so I figure there's no harm in trying. Um, how'd you find our work? I like to know how people found my work. Um, what's the main reason you're contacting us? So the cool thing about this is when they click on something, it'll give them additional questions so that there's, if you want to know their wedding date, for example, so if it's a wedding inquiry, you can say, where's your wedding going to be? And what's the date of your wedding? So they can actually go in here and, you know, say it's going to be June of 2012, June 22nd of 2012. And now you know their wedding date. So it's right there. Um, and it only shows up when that wedding photography is clicked. If they put senior portrait photography, they get different questions. Uh, family photography, I don't add any extra questions. If you want to, you certainly can. Um, if they click other, a little other box pops up and they can say exactly why that they're contacting you. Then there's the contact, you know, what can we do for you? What, you know, where they leave their message, whatever it is. If they're inquiring about pricing or availability. Um, and then this last question is my, um, kind of my spam preve prevention question. What day comes after Saturday? click Sunday and then the button appears. If you don't have anything clicked, that button isn't there to send the message to us. So um, once it's clicked, you can send the message and we will click send. It's probably gonna yell at me because I didn't do everything. So you can kind of see if they don't do one of these required ones, you're gonna have to go in here and do it. So I'm just gonna put in something quick. All right, any more red fields? We should be good now, so we're going to give this a try again. Just showing you that so that you'll see what happens. And then we get this, thanks for contacting us. We'll get in touch with you shortly. Have a great day. Um, that, again, is something that you can change the text um, back in your editing place. So, all right, that's just a preview. Do, you know, check it out. Try it. Make sure it works. You'll be able to tell if it works because, one, you'll get an email in your email box. But also, when you go back to forms, you can go to entries. And then in entries, you'll see, hey, there's me. I just sent this one. This will be empty until somebody sends you a message through your contact form. So you can go to view. And then there's all the information that I sent them. I didn't specify my other reason. I just clicked it, whatever. But um, these are the fields that you see. They were only the ones that I filled out, not the blank ones. Very cool. You can add notes if you want. Completely up to you. You can even print it with notes. Really handy um, for keeping track of your customers. Plus, you also get a copy in your email inbox. So you're having them in two places, which is really nice. I especially enjoy this for questionnaires so that I have all of my wedding questionnaires in one place and I don't have to go searching for them by client or into the different client folders um, in my email inbox. I can just come right here, have it right there. It shows the wedding day, the bride and groom's name, all that good stuff. You can change what you see right here by clicking this edit button right there. It'll let you choose which fields you want to see. Um, so it's very customizable, very cool. So I think that's the main part right there. I'm going to do another video that shows you how to customize these forms so that you can come through and change things. Um, but that's the quick and easy way to use the free contact form on the Modern Tog. Um, the process would be the exact same for the questionnaires if you choose to purchase them. And yeah, hope that was helpful and I hope this helps you grow your business. Thanks!